I think we're going to enter a world where tokenized funds of all kinds, private equity tokenized funds, uh, money market tokenized funds, whatever, whatever flavor of fund that you want is going to be a tokenized fund. And then also the ability to access, you know, either through ETF structures or direct ownership, various cryptocurrencies, including meme coins, NFTs, you know, once those become sufficiently regulated in a way that the large institutions and the fintechs can interact with them. So I think there's all this endorsement and there's still a little bit of a ways to go on accessibility, on like the ability for, for a user to very easily acquire some of these assets. But I, I think we're, we're going to be in a world where a blockchain-based asset is, is going to be better than a non-blockchain asset. That's kind of the world we're going towards. And once that's regulated in a way that people are comfortable with, like the, the, the fact that traditional assets have regulatory protections or are safe for large institutions to deal with, that's kind of, you know, one of their last positive characteristics that if that characteristic is, is, is acquired by blockchain-based assets, you have all the positive blockchain-based characteristics and, you know, like 24-7, 365 markets, better settlement times, less fraud risk because it's secure, you know, like 50 other things. And now you have the guarantee of, of a government backing that asset. I think the fact that we're on trajectory to that, like a very clear, obvious trajectory to that, creates a very different impression in people's minds. I, I think it's it's still under undervalued how important that is, actually.